வெல்கம் டு ஒர்க் ஷாப் டெக்னாலஜி சப்ஜெக்ட் வி ஆர் டிஸ்கஸிங் அபவுட் த லீட் மெஷின் ஆப்ரேஷன் த லீட் மெஷின் ஒன் ஆஃப் த மோஸ்ட் இம்பார்ட்டன்ட் அண்ட் ஒன் ஆஃப் த மோஸ்ட் ஓல்டஸ்ட் மெஷின் டூல் யூஸ் இன் தி மெஷின் இன் ஒர்க் ஷாப்ஸ் ஸோ இட்ஸ் ஒன் ஆஃப் த மோஸ்ட் காமன் மெஷின் டூல் டைப் ஸோ த நாலேஜ் அபவுட் திஸ் மெஷின் டூல் இஸ் வெரி இம்பார்ட்டன்ட் தட்ஸ் ஐ this topic we are discussing in detail uh, lathe machine operation then the last class uh, last two class uh, we discuss uh, classification of lathe machines the lathe machines are classified into different category depending on the uh, usage construction and the design you can divide into several category in the last lecture we discuss uh, this classification okay. then uh, then next we discuss uh, component of the lathe machine uh, relative to the engine lathe we discuss uh, what are the component main component of the lathe machine and what are the functions of the components then we discuss uh, lathe operations what are the operations can done on the lathe machine we discuss uh, the main operations we discuss etc these operation the various operations can done on the lathe machine but uh, we are discussing only these uh, main operations then uh, today lecture is focusing to the calculations regarding to lathe operations okay the how to calculate the machine time how to calculate the cutting speed feed and uh, material remove rate in machine operations these things we are going to uh, discuss in today's lecture okay okay then uh, let's continue to the uh, theory uh, today's theory okay Today we are going to discuss about the calculations uh, regarding to the lathe operation the calculations the calculations in net operations mm-hmm. okay first uh, we are going to discuss the cutting speed okay as the first operation is uh, consider the turning operation cutting speed calculation in cutting speed in turning operation okay then how to calculate the cutting speed in turning operation let's take the uh, turning operation let's take this is the work piece let's take the work piece diameter as uh, capital d let's take the cutting tool okay considering the uh, relative to the dimension of the work piece depth of cut is very small okay <laughs> considering the dimension of the work piece depth of cut is very small so uh, we are not uh, considering the depth of cut we can neglect depth of cut relative to the dimension of the work piece so then the cutting speed is the let's take this is uh, rotating with n rpm r p m let's take the d in inches d in inches then what is the cutting speed how to calculate the cutting speed the cutting speed mean surface velocity of the the this is a uh, 5 in d the surface velocity of the cylinder so what is the surface velocity of the cylinder 5 d n the unit what are the units inches per minute inches per minute that mean uh, 5d mean the uh, circumferential length n mean number of revolutions per minute so then we are getting the 5d n as the cutting speed for turning operation okay okay then uh, secondly we are going to calculate okay. then here uh, this one is the important one because uh, in is the important one the if we make n into sub gain uh, v divided by 5d we are getting this one then uh, this uh, 5 we can calculate uh, we can take from the available chart 
okay five uh, sorry uh, v we can uh, take from the available chart okay the v is a known value so v is a known value then the d is known value then we have to cal then we are calculating n this n value we have to set on the machine tool okay first we have to do this calculation then we have to select the n value then this n value we have to set on the uh, lathe machine to get the required speed for a certain cutting operation okay Accordingly, depending on the type of cut, depending on the uh, workpiece material, depending on the cutting tool material, the V we can decide from the available published chart. Okay, if you know the V, if you know the dimensions of the workpiece, then we can calculate the N value. Okay, when we are doing certain machine operation, we have to set this N value. That means RPM value, spindle uh, RPM value, we have to set on the lathe machine. So there are uh, options to set this uh, speed required speed on the lathe machine by changing the gears on the gearbox we can set the uh, we can get the required uh, rotational speed for the spindle but uh, in some situation the exact n values uh, we can't obtain because uh, only few gear positions are available the, if you are getting for example if you are getting 140 rpm from this calculation for example so then uh, but our machines are not uh, capable to produce the 140 rpm take the closer value okay the 150 is available take the 150 rpm for the spindle that's okay uh, take the most closer value for your machine operations okay that is important then uh, next uh, cutting speed calculation we are going to do for the uh, facing operation Okay, next uh, we are going to discuss uh, cutting speed calculation for phasing operation. Okay, cutting speed calculation for the phasing operation. Okay, then what happened in uh, phasing operation? Just take this is the workpiece. The having the diameter 5 into D, let's take this is rotating with the this axis with the n rpm. Okay, then let's take this is the cutting tool. The cutting tool feed perpendicular to the rotating axis in the late uh, this uh, phase in operation. You already know this uh, turning operation. Okay, then uh, you can see in this situation the cutting speed is not uh, uniform, it is vary. The, at the circ circumference it is maximized, the V is uh, maximized, then uh, this is V is minimum, the V is minimum is equal to 0, V maximum is equal, V maximum is equal 5 D N, the V minimum is equal 0. Okay, in this situation, we have to consider the average cutting speed. We average should be equal to 5 dn divided by 2. Okay, this is the uh, suitable uh, cutting speed for this operation. Okay, suitable cutting speed for this operation. The average cutting speed, to get the average cutting speed, you have to set the n value. Okay. Then uh, this is how we are calculating the uh, cutting speed in the uh, turning operation and the uh, facing operation. Next operation, uh, next calculation, we are going to discuss feed. Second, feed. So what is by the feed? Feed uh, F. The feed that the the feed mean uh, the rate of tool advancing in uh, metal cutting operation is called uh, feed. The rate of tool advancing in metal cutting operation is uh, called the feed. So, what is the in lathe machine operation? What it means? Let's take the for example. Let's take the turning operation. Let's take the turning operation. The workpiece. 
the D in diameter rotating with the N R in. The feed, feed is uh, mostly given as the rate, mostly given as the rate. If uh, inches per revolution, inches per revolution. This is, the, this is how the feed is given. If the feed in inches per revolution. That means, uh, we take the crane tool. For one revolution of the workpiece, this is uh, move by F distance. This is called the feed. Okay, this is called the feed. Then we can calculate the, let's take uh, Tm is the machining time. Then now how to calculate the length of cut in uh, if you know the feed rate, how to calculate the length of cut in, uh, let's take the length of cut itself. Then how to calculate the length of cut in uh, this operation. If the machine, total machine time is uh, Tm. That means uh, per one revolution, it uh, moves F distance in inches. Okay. Per uh, one minute, how many revolutions? Per one minute, it produces n number of revolutions. In the Tm time, it produces n Tm revolutions. So then what is the movement? L is equal F Tm n. Okay, the L in inches. L in inches. <laughs> feed, uh, feed is the rate, the inches per revolution. Tm in machine time, let's take uh, it is in a uh, uh, minute. Then n is the RPM value. So then we are getting the L in inches. Okay, this is how we are calculating the uh, length of cut if you know the uh, feed rate. Okay, if you know the feed rate. <laughs> then uh, next one, next we are going to discuss the material removal rate in machining. Third calculation we are going to discuss. Material removal rate in uh, lathe operations. So this uh, M R R. Okay. This uh, let's take the First, we are going to discuss the material removal rate in the uh, turning operation. Okay, let's take the material removal rate in the uh, turning operation. Let's take this is the work piece. Okay. Then uh, original diameter let's take it as the 5 in D. Then let's take the cutting tool. Let's take this is the cutting tool. Let's take the depth of cut D in inches. Uh, this one also in inches. Let's take. Okay. Let's take this workpiece is rotating with N RPM. Okay. N RPM. Then how to calculate the machine in time? Uh, sorry, uh, material removal rate in uh, for this operation. Okay. Material removal rate for this operation. Let's take. Uh, we are going to obtain the material removal rate for the Tm machining time. Okay. Let's take the tool is uh, moves to this kind of portion uh, after Tm time. 
okay this length we can calculate we have already have this equation for this one if you know the feed rate l is equal we already obtain this equation f n into tm that means in this uh, tm time period the tool moves to this kind of position by taking this uh, by removing this sorry by take remove this layer of material that means you can see this uh, material material volume is removed this material volume is removed that means this kind of uh, ring shape material has removed This kind of uh, ring shape material has removed. So, what is the volume of material removed in this uh, TM uh, machine time? So what is the thickness of this uh, ring shape? It is equal to D. D in depth of cut. What is the length of this uh, volume? L. L is equal to F into T. Now, how to calculate the total volume of this uh, ring shape? Use the uh, Papus theorem to calculate the volume. Papus theorem. You, uh, I think you already you know this uh, Papus theorem in uh, mathematics. Uh, using this Papus theorem, we can calculate the total volume. Assuming uh, D is uh, very small compared to the dimensions of the workpiece. So then, uh, this uh, cross section, cross sectional area is equal uh, D into L. Total volume removed. in a TM machine time is equal total volume removed in TM machine time is equal DL into 5D is the total volume removed so then I am going to substitute these values uh, L D uh, depth of cut L machine in length TM 5 D okay then we are going to calculate the uh, volume removed in uh, one minute volume removed in uh, one minute so one minute or unit time one minute or unit time for this operation I am taking the one minute okay that is, uh, we have to divide this equation by the uh, machine time, total time taken. So then we are getting uh, this value uh, 5 d n f into d. Then, uh, what is your 5 dm term? The multiplication of these three, multiplication of these three, 5 dn mean we already obtain equation v, the Kanye's v. The feed in rate as the rate d in depth of cut. So then uh, we are getting the equation the for the material removal rate. Material removal rate in machining later turning operation is equal v f d. Okay, v f d. The v mean uh, cutting speed. F mean the feed as a rate. Okay, as a rate we are substitute as a rate. Okay. And D in inches, sorry, uh, D mean the depth of cut. Okay, then if you are substituting the V in uh, inches per minute, if uh, F in inches per revolution, then D in inches, you are getting the answer uh, cubic, cubic inches per minute. Okay, cubic inches per minute is the Okay. Then this is uh, how we are calculating the material removal rate in machine operation. This is how we are calculating the material removal rate in machine process. Turning operation. Then next we are going to discuss uh, machining time. <laughs> Thank you.
ดิสกูตัวนี้ total machine time calculations okay and let's see how to calculate the total machine time in uh, these operations these operations Let's take again the machine time calculation for the ten in operation. Okay, let's take the the workpiece. Is the workpiece? <coughs> okay. Then. Uh, Let's take. Uh, we are going to remove this uh, this kind of layer from this uh, workpiece. Let's take the certain layer. <laughs> consider the uh, geometry of this. Uh, sorry, consider the uh, dimensions of the. Work piece. Uh, this uh, depth of cut is very small. Okay. Then uh, when uh, I will draw the cutting tool also. When you start in the machine operation, we can't start at this position. We have to the we have to allow the tool to gradually enter to the work piece. So we have to place this uh, tool somewhere in this kind of position for this operation. Okay. That means we can't place right at this position. Okay, we have to give some allowances to en engage the tool to the workpiece. So here also same, we have to give some uh, allowances. That is called uh, tool over travel. This is called tool uh, approach. This uh, this dimension is called. This length is called tool approach length. This uh, tool approach. This one is called tool over travel. Tool over travel and the tool approach. Okay. Then uh, let's take this uh, length as uh, L naught. Let's take this length as L one. Let's take this length as L two. Okay. To remove this uh, cut, to remove this uh, layer. So, what is the total tool travel? Total tool travel required. Total tool travel required. The total tool travel L. Let's take the. L is the L. L is equal. L not plus L one plus L two. Okay. This much of uh, tool travel required to remove this layer from this piece. Okay. Then L is this much. Then how to calculate the machine time? If the feed rate is given, if Inches per revolution. F inches per revolution. Let's take this work piece is rotating with n r p m. Okay. Then how to calculate the total machine time? The previously we obtained the equation relating the L and the machine time. What is that? L is equal f n t m. No. Then that by making the T M into subject, we are getting the equation L divided by F into N. This is how we are calculating the uh, total uh, machine time for certain cut. For a cut. For a cut. Okay, for a certain cut. In some situation. Uh, Several cuts needed to obtain the required dimension. In some situation, the several cut required to obtain the dimensions. Okay. So, example, let's take. 
the for the first cut this is the machine time okay then uh, again there are also two let's take the, the we have to obtain this uh, dimension uh, let's take the we are doing the two rough cut and the one finish cut this is the two rough cut i will draw in a separate diagram okay that's a bit more you see <coughs> Okay. Let's take uh, this is the work piece. This is the work piece. Then this uh, work piece diameter has to reduce to the so final. We have to obtain this uh, much of uh, diameter by removing the surface sodium. This is the required dimension for this uh, cylindrical work piece. So finally, we want to we want this uh, dimension. Okay, let's take we have to reduce to diameter to a D, the initial diameter is capital D. Okay. Then uh, in this situation, the we have to at once we can't remove this uh, entire layer from this uh, work piece. At once we can't remove. Then uh, the D is very close to the simple D. Okay. Then uh, we have to remove this uh, material layer wise. Okay. The first uh, initial layers we are uh, giving by uh, we are doing we are obtaining higher material removal rate in our first layers uh, to reduce the total machine time. In here, uh, let's take the, finally we have to obtain the D dimension. So then, uh, in this situation, at once we can't remove this entire layer from, uh, the, that is depend, uh, but in most of the cases, uh, let's, let's take the, at once we can't remove this entire layer from this uh, work piece. Instead of that, uh, we are removing this uh, layer wise. The initial layers we are doing to get the higher material removal rate in order to reduce the total production time. So that means uh, we are giving the higher depth of cut uh, for the initial cuts. Okay, this is the first cut. Normally, uh, higher depth of cut with lower cutting speed. In this operation, we are not going to obtain the surface finish for the uh, for this operation. So we are mainly obtaining higher material removal rate in order to reduce the total time for the machine. Okay. This is the first cut that is called uh, rough cut. We are doing the rough cut. In rough cutting, we are obtaining higher material removal rate. Material removal rate. Okay. Let's take. Uh, we are doing the two uh, rough cuts. We are doing the two rough cuts. This is the next uh, rough cut we are going to do. Then another rough cut. We are gradually reaching to the final dimensions in machining. Okay. The depth of uh, cut uh, depends on the capacity of the Machine tool also depend on the rigidity of the work piece. Okay, so then the as the final cut we are removing this layer, small layer from the work piece. This is called the finished cut. Done with the higher speeds with the round nose uh, cutting tool to get the final dimensions and the surface finish. This is called uh, very small thin layer is removed to get the final dimensions, final cut. This is called final cut. The in final cut uh, we are obtaining. Uh, this is also called uh, finish cut. Okay. The normally doing higher cutting speeds with the round nose uh, tool. Round nose tool means uh, it's 
this kind of crane tool having the uh, round edge okay then uh, we are obtaining the surface finish surface uh, <coughs> finish and uh, final dimension okay in a finish cut we are obtaining the final surface finish and the final dimensions okay then uh, you can see we are doing the several cuts that means the two rough cuts and the one finish cut the total machine time is the addition of these uh, uh, the three uh, time taken for these three cuts okay so that means uh, total length let's take this is the tool lap including the tool approach and the tool level travel is this the total length machine length is l then uh, total machine time we can calculate in this way for the uh, first two cut let's take the this is uh, rotating with uh, for the first uh, let's take uh, for the rough cutting let's take the for the rough cutting suitable rpm value is in let's take the n1 uh, let's take the rough cut and the finish cut let's take the in r okay rough for the rough cut okay so then uh, we can calculate the uh, total uh, machine time for the one rough cut tm is equal what is the equation we got previously Tm is equal total L divided by let's take uh, F uh, R for the rough cutting in R for the rough cutting okay then uh, let's take the same uh, RPM speed we are used for this uh, second rough cut also then we have to multiply it by 2 okay multiply it by 2 then uh, for the finish cut this is for the rough cutting total time for the rough cutting total time for the rough cutting <laughs> rough cuts then uh, total uh, time time taken for finish cut total time taken for finish cut let's take the tmf the finish cut the same length same length same length same length so in this situation the different feed speed is used f uh, f and the different in value also using that mean the normally higher speeds are used for this operation then uh, let's take uh, that uh, in if okay in if this is the time taken for the finish cut then the total total time taken for this machining operation total time taken taken for this uh, turning operation entire turning operation the tmr plus tmf so what is the value is equal to <coughs> total machine time is equal l divided by f r n r into 2 because the two rough cuts we are using plus l divided by f finish speed rate uh, feed rate for the finish cut the n uh, speed for the rotation speed for the finish cut this is the this is how we are calculating the uh, total machine time for a certain machine operation okay here it is only the two but uh, in the most of the cases uh, i got to put the n the n mean uh, depending on the uh, workpiece diameter and the required diameter the n has to vary maybe several cuts we need in the situation we have to put the in maybe the three cuts we have to put the three three rough cut we have to put the three rough cut normally the one uh, finished cut is used to get the final dimensions and the shape okay this is how we are calculating 
this uh, calculation is very important uh, in the last uh, the exam paper also included these calculations okay this one is very important calculation okay then let's move to the next calculation let's move to the next calculation how are required in machine operations fifth uh, calculation okay power required in the lathe operations the power the power mean work done per unit time is called the power the you know this equation the p is equal f into v the f the force and the velocity uh, we already discussed the cutting uh, force and the cutting velocity the here is uh, fc and the vc okay then the fc is depend on uh, various conditions fc is a, a function of actually it is a function of a uh, mostly it is a function of a depth of cut d and the feed rate and also the uh, cutting speed the, sorry uh, feed rate and the cutting speed is there so then uh, d f uh, and also depend it also depend on the type of material okay the that mean we can write this f as the equation the k d f in simply the multiplication sorry multiplication in simply we can write in this way but uh, if it is depend on the lot of parameters the most uh, important parameters are depth of cut and the feed rate and also the type of material the k is depend on the type of material okay constant depend on the on the uh, work piece material then if we know the f we can calculate the p okay then the k we have to give for this uh, we have to uh, give for this calculation the k d f and the vc this is how we are calculating the total power required for this machine operation for this calculation we have to k we have to, should be a known value okay then the d and f is uh, we can uh, this, uh, we can obtain then the vc is known value then we can calculate the total power required for this machine operation but uh, this is the approximate value we are getting in here but uh, because uh, this f is depend on the lot of parameters but uh, we consider only the two main parameters the f is relating okay this is how we are doing this uh, calculations in uh, we discuss actually the five, five uh, machine uh, calculations okay uh, relative to the lathe operations okay then uh, next we are going to discuss some uh, example problems from these uh, calculations okay let's see to the example problems relating to these calculations <coughs> this is the problem we are going to discuss uh, i'll read this uh, problem The workpiece of a uh, 300 mm diameter and a uh, 600 mm in length okay, is to be turned down to a 282 mm for, for the entire length. The suggested feed rate is given the 1.2 mm per revolution and the cutting speed 162 meters per minute. The suggested uh, cutting speed is 162 meters per minute the maximum allowable depth of cut is given the 4.5 uh, millimeter then uh, calculate the following the spindle rpm the feed speed then the material removal rate and the total machine time 
then the uh, additional data is given the tool approach length is given the 12 mm and the neglect the tool over travel okay the tool over travel we can neglect uh, first thing uh, we have to draw the sketch the diagram okay including all the detail first uh, draw the diagram that is the way you have to use to solve the problem okay so indicating all the diagram this is the uh, turning operation <coughs> for entire length of the workpiece uh, okay then uh, the total length uh, is given uh, total diameter and the total length is 600 millimeter okay 600 millimeter <laughs> then uh, the, this it has to turn down to a 282 okay 282 mean uh, the 18 the total uh, depth of cut is uh, the diameter has reduced by the 80 millimeter the total uh, depth of cut is 9 millimeter okay 9 millimeter okay 9 millimeter depth of cut or total depth of cut is 9 millimeter but at once we can obtain the 4.5 maximum depth of cut in this problem <coughs> it's not uh, mentioned the rough cut and the finish cut if uh, the rough cut dimensions and the finish cut dimensions are given we have to consider that one also when solving the problem in the in, uh, exam paper questions the, that is uh, mentioned the rough cut speed and the sorry uh, rough cut depth uh, for the depth of cut for the rough cutting and the depth of cut of the finish cutting is uh, mentioned the you will find the uh, problem in the exam papers in that situation if it is given you have to consider that one also but in here it is not uh, mentioned that there is a rough cut and the finish cut or something the the total depth of cut we have to obtain is the 9 millimeter that 9 millimeter you can obtain from the two cuts the 4.5 millimeter two cuts okay that means uh, just take this is the dimension the 5 in uh, original dimension is the 300 millimeter 300 millimeter dimensions then finally we have to obtain just take this is the final dimension we want to obtain okay then uh, this uh, the removal is done using the two cuts this is the first cut and the second cut the problem not saying the finish whether it is a finish cut or two cuts two the two cuts we need to remove this uh, diameter then uh, this uh, diameter final uh, finish cut diameter is equal to 282 in millimeters okay okay then uh, this uh, total depth of cut required is uh, 9 millimeter the from the uh, diameter it reduced the 80 millimeter so then we are getting the 282 millimeter okay then uh, then this is the data given then the uh, problem is asked in to calculate the spill rpm first we have to we are going to calculate the spill rpm then uh, keep remember this uh, when we do this calculation we are using uh, the original the workpiece uh, dimension for this calculation then uh, Spill RPM we have to calculate. Spill RPM we have to calculate. The V is equal five T N. Okay, V is equal five T N. This is the uh, cutting speed. Uh, it's given as the data. What is the cutting speed? Allowable cutting speed value is given. What is the cutting speed? The cutting speed uh, one hundred sixty two. 162 meters per minute okay the 5 d d in uh, we are substituting uh, meters d what is the d 0 0.3 because uh, 300 millimeter then uh, we have to multiply 
in in min the uh, RPM. Okay, spindle RPM in. Then we are getting the in. In this equal. <laughs> 171.9 RPM. Okay. Then another uh, then another important thing is this is the RPM value we are getting. Okay. If the uh, in this problem it is not mentioned, in this problem it is not mentioned, if uh, lathe machine set points as given, speed set point as given, you have to adhere to that uh, speed. That means, uh, you have to, for example, if the lathe machine set uh, speed set point as given as 100, 200 and 300, you have to essentially this speed to a 200 RP, okay, there's no option. So in that situation, the you are further for, the, for, for your further calculation, you have to consider the 100 RP, not the 171.9 RPM. Okay, keep remember that one. If lathe machine set speed as given, okay, gear position speed has given, then you have to select the most suitable RPM value for the spindle from the available speed, okay, settable speeds. So then, for your further calculation, you have to consider that speed, not this speed. Okay, keep remember that one. Uh, problem, uh, there's a problem in exam papers. Regard read it into that one also, okay. Then uh, spin the RPM we have calculated. Then the second one, uh, feed speed. The feed is given as the rate, feed is given as the rate. So then uh, we can calculate the feed speed, okay. For example, this take I will do the cutting tool also. Uh, the feed, uh, yes, the feed, 1.2, 1.2 millimeter per revolution, 1.2 millimeter per revolution, if feed, okay. Then uh, feed is speed, feed is speed is equal, V, sorry, F uh, in the speed, per one revolution, what is the tool travel? 1.2 millimeter, so for the in revolutions, we have to multiply the, what is the number of revolutions per minute? 171.9 revolutions. So that, that is the total to, uh, feed in a one minute. Okay, the millimeter per. Uh, sorry, answer is uh, this is uh, revolutions per minute. Then answer is we are getting. Feed is speed is equal. <coughs> feed is speed is equal. Two hundred and six point two eight millimeter per minute. This is the feed as the uh, speed. Get the speed, not the rate. Okay, then uh, if late machine the gear portions the speed has given, for example, if this is uh, we have to set to a 200 rpm for this calculation, you have to consider the 200 rpm. Okay, because we are machining with the 200 rpm, this is the calculated value, but we only the option is available the speed setting is 200 rpm. So in that situation, for the speed calculation, we have to cal consider the 200 RPM. Okay, keep remember that one. Okay. Then uh, problem is asking material removal rate. How to calculate the material removal rate? Material removal rate. Okay. The material removal rate uh, for the for, for a certain cut, let's take uh, in a one minute period. In a one minute period, what is the total tool travel in a one minute period per minute? 206.28 total length of the tool travel. Then, what is the depth of cut? 
4.5 in millimeters okay then what is the total uh, circumferential length 5 into d 300 so then the total this is the cubic millimeter per minute we are getting the material removal rate is equal to 87.48 into 10 to the power of 4 cubic inches per minute for this uh, machine measures okay And they're finally asking the fourth question. Total fourth question total machine time. Okay, total machine time. Okay, total machine time. Okay, total machine time. Here there's a two uh, cut, two cut. So the four one cut. What is the total time taken? Total uh, length, total tool travel. For a cut. Total tool travel for a cut is equal six hundred plus. Where the two tool over travel length and the tool approach length tool uh, assume tool over travel is 12 millimeter then the other one is can be can be nickel 612 okay 612 in millimeters okay the tool uh, travel for a certain cut okay then uh, total machine time for the certain cut if a uh, feed rate is the same as for the both the card and uh, time taken for a cut taken for a cut is equal 612 divided by the, uh, the feed speed we can call it directly we have already calculated the feed speed then we can use the feed speed so what is this feed speed feed speed 206.28 millimeter per minute so then uh, time for cut we are getting the answer in minute for for cut this is the value that is equal to 2.967 in minute then the total time taken for this uh, <coughs> machining the multiplication of the multiplication by 2 total time taken taken is equal because there, there's two cuts so we have to multiply it by 2 5.9 in minute okay this is how we are calculating the uh, machine time and the uh, total machine time okay okay uh, this, uh, this is all about the calculation regarding the uh, machine operations. The thread cutting calcul calculation we are going to discuss in a separate lecture. Okay. So there is a calculation regarding the thread cutting operation also. The thread cutting uh, GA calculations we are discussing on next lecture. Okay. Thank you.